Hello, uh, this is Gülü Özkan. I'm currently with Tony Galipi, founder of BitPay at the Webit Conference in Istanbul. Welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, most, most people in this region uh, are not aware of how BitPay works. Uh, can you basically tell us the basics of the platform? Sure. So BitPay is an easy-to-use platform for businesses that want to accept Bitcoin as a form of payment. So businesses that are selling on the internet, businesses that are trying to reach customers cross-border, it makes a lot of sense. And so if you have a website using WordPress or Drupal or Magento or any of the common web publishing platforms where you would have a web store, um, we have a plug-in. So it's very easy for you to use one of our tools to accept Bitcoin. Okay. And in the traditional financial system, you are basically replacing MasterCard and PayPal, let's say. Do you think uh, BitPay is competitor of these uh, uh, companies? So the interesting thing about Bitcoin is that it's an open source payment network. So anybody can use it. Anybody can start developing applications on top of it. Um, you know, like Visa, MasterCard, PayPal, those are all proprietary systems where you have to be a member to, to participate. So Bitcoin is open and it, and it offers a lot of opportunities for um, both consumers and merchants in emerging markets. Uh, but anybody doing business with each other, you know, the transaction costs are, are so much less that it's very efficient to do payments now over the internet. Okay. What are the like, main challenges you face in such a uh, volatile market? <laughs> well, the, um, you know, the Bitcoin itself is still in the very early stages, right? It's still a beta protocol, and, and the uh, developers are still adding new features and trying to make it more stable and more scalable, right? You know, the Bitcoin network today can only do so many transactions because that's, that's all its capacity is, and that has to be um, uh, you know, rebuilt so that it can handle more transactions per second per day to make it usable for larger businesses. Um, but the overall adoption of Bitcoin is much like following the uh, adoption of email. You know, it started in the late 80s with companies adopting email, and uh, eventually it got into the home as more consumer products were built for it. Um, don't you think that it's quite risky to make uh, these investments in a market that is it's not stable at all? Well, you know, we, we started getting involved in Bitcoin when the price was $2.00. Now the price is $300. So a lot of the investments that we're making have started to pay off. You know, just owning Bitcoins is kind of like an ETF on the whole space. You know, every Bitcoin company that comes into adds value, you know, makes the entire system more valuable. Um, and so, you know, I'm not that worried about the volatility. It has its ups and downs. It's more volatile than, than most currencies. But, you know, it's only because it's so, so thinly traded today. There's not a lot of participants in it. So one person trying to buy or sell a million dollars can move the market around. But as it gets more popular and as you get more participants, both buyers and sellers, the volatility will decrease. You'll get more stability. Um, and then you'll see larger businesses actually starting to use it because it won't be so volatile. And how do you see the future of virtual currency? Yeah, so I mean, you know, there's a real computer science innovation behind Bitcoin in able to, to create a currency that does not have a central bank or a central issuer. Um, it's run and managed all by the people, all by the people who use it. And so I think, um, you know, there may be, you know, more in the future that come along. Um, if they have a real innovative feature, you know, then Bitcoin could also adopt that feature. So it becomes a, a networking effect. Um, you know, you could create a competitor to Facebook, but, you know, if everybody's already using Facebook, then, you know, they, they, have, the, uh, they have the network effect and they have the brand. So I think, um, you know, Bitcoin is, is the first, um, you know, wave, but, um, you know, there certainly could be a, a bright future for virtual currencies in general. And uh, how do you see this region? And what's your observations about now we are in Turkey and uh, you probably talk to many people. Uh, what do you think about this region? Uh, this region it is interesting. Um, you know, the, the credit card adoption in Turkey is pretty widespread. Um, but still, a lot of consumers, they still like to pay cash on delivery when they buy on the Internet because they're not sure they're going to get the merchandise. They don't necessarily trust the seller. So I think there's an opportunity here. There's a, a lot of risk that the drivers would take trying to accept cash in person. Um, and, uh, you know, so the, Bitcoin could be a good option for, for cash on delivery for e-commerce. Thank you very much. Thank you.